From what we've seen in the last four videos, it's clear that some significant work is required to help clear up what was going on with the rise of dinosaurs once and for all. And this is where the Dawn Dinos project comes in. The Dawn Dinos project is based at the Royal Veterinary College's Structure and Motion Laboratory in the United Kingdom, and is spearheaded by Professor John Hutchinson, who says, our project seeks to rigorously test the locomotor superiority hypothesis through the use of biomechanical modeling and simulation. Specifically, we're investigating whether dinosaurs could run faster or jump further or walk more efficiently than contemporary pseudosuchians using 12 extinct archosaurs for comparisons. Now, all of this research should tell us whether the dinosaurs' ways of locomoting gave them an advantage in surviving and thriving. Rather than use anatomy as a proxy for speed or other aspects of athleticism, we're using physiology and physics to test how these factors are related. The testing done as part of the project is more detailed than any previous study and makes use of new and improving technology. It first involves studying the way that extant archosaurs, specifically a small bird called the tinamou and the Nile crocodile, move. By inputting the known musculoskeletal anatomy and experimental data of these animals into specialised software, we can inform computer simulations to recreate the movements we see in reality digitally. These extant archosaurs were chosen as they are homologues to those extinct animals of interest, meaning that their anatomy is directly related to those of the Triassic Pseudosuchians and Ornithodirans that will also be studied. The Nile crocodile throughout its growth shows a range of terrestrial gaits that can be compared with various Triassic Pseudosuchians, and the Tinamou is thought to be the closest we can get to the most recent common ancestor of birds in terms of its anatomy and behaviour, making it a good comparison for non-avian dinosaurs. By having these modern study animals, we are able to test how well the models we create work and validate them as a way to recreate the motion of extinct animals. Dr Peter Bishop is working on exactly that. Locomotion is an incredibly complex task, involving numerous bones, joints and many, many muscles, all coordinating with one another to produce movement. To understand how extinct archosaurs could have moved, one first needs a strong understanding of how movement is produced in modern animals. By integrating data from experiments and anatomy with sophisticated digital computer models, we can run simulations to explore aspects of leg function that are not easily understood from experiments alone, such as how muscles are recruited to produce force during the gait cycle. With a more developed understanding of how animals work, we can then apply these simulations to predict locomotor behaviour and performance in extinct species as well. In tandem with the studies of living archosaurs, our research involves CT scanning and modelling fossil archosaurs based on what we have learnt, and continuing to improve existing models. Using the models of extinct archosaurs, we are comparing the results of walking, running and jumping simulations, allowing us to clearly test how comparatively effective or efficient each movement is as it's performed by each animal, bringing extinct archosaurs digitally back to life. The team has already produced some exciting work in this area and is working on much more, as PhD student Romain Pintois says. So on top of being at least bipedal and quadrupedal, Akuzo had a wide morphological diversity with features like armor and spikes and long neck, with sizes ranging from small to massive, and this morphological diversity may have had an impact on the way these animals moved. So one way to relate both morphological diversity and body mass to locomotion is to perform 3D measurements of limb bones using geometric morphometrics. So I'm using 3D geometric morphometrics for my PhD project in Paris with the Gravibone Sister project of Dawn Dinos. And this tool allows me to study the shape differences between limb bones of every archosaur involved in the Dawn Dinos project while distinguishing the effect of body size on those shapes. So this is completely different from measuring the length of a bone because it uses anatomical points such as, such as muscular attachments as reference, putting the results in a clearer anatomical context. So ultimately this tool allows us to isolate which part of the bone is varying the most between bipeds and quadrupeds or even between two quadrupeds that are rather small and big with different morphologies. So taking these shape differences into account will help to better assess the diversity and the evolution of locomotive functions in early archosaurs. At the end of our work, we hope to be able to say whether locomotion was indeed a factor that made dinosaurs superior to archosaurs or not. 
Either way, we'll be able to help answer the question of whether locomotion was what ultimately gave dinosaurs an edge in survival and allowed them to go on to dominate the rest of the Mesozoic. We hope you'll follow along and enjoy learning about our future work. Our website where you can stay up to date with us is linked below and has lots more information on the project, as well as activities you can do at home. We'd like to thank you for watching, and we would also like to thank the European Research Council for funding this project. Thank you.